Only once every thousand years does an eating challenge appear with the ability to blow everyone away. The excellent challenge is that challenge. 12 eggs, chili, cheese, biscuits, and a fruit bowl. Finish in under an hour and your party eats for free. And you win this hat that says I'm excellent on it. That's right, finish the omelet and get the coolest hat ever invented for free. My knees. <laughs> I'm getting old. That, that, that was just my um, my homage to uh, binging with Babish because that's how he starts all his videos. I'm out of breath, man. I was, I was only crouching down there for 30 <laughs> seconds. Bit of frill one in. It's alright, just leave it. Just eat it. Remove those eggs. I wonder if there's like a world record for that. Who and smash eggs the quickest. You wouldn't be too careful, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure salmonella people don't really get that anymore, but just in case. That's not how you smell eggs. And now I just want to pop them. We need that big long grill that everyone loves. You can get it on Amazon, it's really easy to find. Just such giant grill. Enough? No! <laughs> No, we can't do this on there, can we? Because it's gonna come through the hole. And yeah, maybe that will work. Oh man, this is not gonna work, I don't think. <laughs> no! <laughs> this never happens on binging with Babish. Make sure I don't eat this piece of foil here. Yeah? Oh no, 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 you're not leaving all these bits up here. Yeah, all right, Randy, come on. Those are done now. Oh. I'll never understand how you don't like cheese. I don't anyone else that doesn't like cheese. And finally, a fruit bowl. Why a fruit bowl? Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> Alright, that took much longer than expected. I hope it tastes good. But um yeah, have you, uh, have you ever seen the regular show? No. I've never seen the regular show either. I don't know if it's because I'm too old, too square, or too British, <laughs> but uh, I've never seen it. Although, in the show, they call this thing the excellent breakfast challenge, which is, you know, a terrible play on words, which is what we do on this channel, so I'd, I'd probably enjoy it. All right, what's up, folks? Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing a fictional food challenge. Yeah. So over the last few months, I noticed a couple of comments here and there from people saying, do the regular show challenge. And given that I've never seen the regular show, I was thinking, what the heck are these people talking about? But then I came across a video by Binging with Babish, which a lot of people will know out there. He's this huge YouTube cooking channel and he made this on the show. He then attempted it and failed quite miserably, even though he had help. Dude, did you see the size of that omelet? No one will ever win that hat. So uh, I thought, you know what, well, let's try smash it today because as far as I can tell, the only person to complete this so far is an anthropomorphic cartoon bird. And we can't have that, can we? <laughs> so without further ado, this is Baby's Food. And this is the excellent breakfast challenge from the regular show. Who's good it? All right, time is going uh, just for fun. What's that been going, like a minute already? <laughs> It took me a while to set up. Anyway, let's get stuck into it, right? I mean, when I saw this on, I'm gonna move the fruit bowl out of the way, but when I saw this on, uh, you know, Binging with Babish's channel, I was like, how the heck can he fail that? So actually, we doubled the amount of eggs that we put in this, but, uh, oh, it tastes delicious, though. That reminds me, I've not seen the regular show. I know I'm wasting time here, people get mad about that. I've not seen the show, but I did watch a clip from the episode in which the uh, the excellent challenge happens where the weird humanoid bird is trying to eat it. And I think he's a, a closet pro because he scrunches up the biscuits at the beginning and dissolves them in water. I know, um, I know a fair few people who would actually do that in the middle of a restaurant challenge too. <laughs> Not me. I'm a reformed man. <laughs> what you said, put some of this on the uh, the biscuit, yeah, which is definitely a biscuit and not a skillet. I'm enjoying the mixture first because this is tasty. Think of the protein from the eggs. Think of the gains. 
<laughs> What's up, Inami? Welcome back to what is admittedly a slightly different type of video. I absolutely would never eat this for breakfast. Who this breakfast? <laughs> yeah, who? Well, it's called the Excellent Breakfast Challenge. I don't, I, I don't know anyone that eats chili for breakfast. That's just ludicrous. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with one of the uh, these things. These things, otherwise known as biscuits. They're supposed to be um, American biscuits. I'll, I'll come clean though. They're they're, uh, they're not American biscuits. They're uh, very British scones, but that actually turned out to be a good thing. This is, I think, this is an improvement on the original recipe because the uh, the, the chili and the, the eggs and the cheese they play off quite nicely against the uh, the sweetness of these scones. Biscuits. That would not be the case if they were biscuits, right? Uh, yeah. It's funny when you when you pile food up and you look at it. You think, oh yeah, that's that's nothing, but <laughs> when you start eating it, it's a different story. I'm glad we used 24 eggs though instead of 12 because I think that would have been a bit too simple. Yeah, we, we didn't increase them quite exponentially, <laughs> but we did double it. In the show, I don't even know if he actually gets the, the meal free. I think he does it to win like a free hat or something. I mean... A free hat is a cool prize. I actually won a free hat a couple of weeks ago doing the, uh, what was it? The, the, the Three Peaks Challenge yeah. in uh, Homeforth. Oh yeah, that was a uh, particularly piquant challenge. Very, t I'm trying to use words other than delicious, but uh, yeah, the prize package on that was pretty cool. Got a, a free meal, free hoodie, and a free cap. I'll put up a card on screen if you haven't seen that one already. It's going down, I'm just eating back to front, you know? Uh, eating back to front, that sounds painful. I think I mean I'm, I'm uh, eating towards the camera. This tastes absolutely fantastic, though. <laughs> this is um, an interesting change of pace, too, after the the last video I did, the last restaurant challenge where the, the owner of the, the restaurant got really mad with me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was uh, th that was an interesting... I'm, I'm not just trying to plug all my old videos, by the way. Although, I, I will put up a card on screen if you want to go back, you know, <laughs> and uh, check it out. But uh, that video was uh, an interesting one. It's, it's not often, believe it or not, that restaurant owners get wound up with me, but that was uh, an exception. <laughs> this, um, this chili is fierier. Fierier? It's, it's hotter than I expected. Probably not the... Oh. I'm sorry. Probably not the uh, the best thing to eat on like the hottest day of the year. Is that today? Was that yesterday? It's still pretty hot today. Oh man. I'd, I'd, I'd pretty much forgotten about the fruit bowl. Just sat there in my peripheral vision the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I, I do get tunnel vision sometimes when it comes to eating, but... That, that bowl of fruit is not exactly hard to spot. 15 minutes, that's not bad. <laughs> Kick a fella while he's down, darling. I wonder if the cartoon bird did it quicker. <laughs> the funny thing is actually in this episode, um, his friends turn up because the owner is going to try and stop... Uh, oh man, I forget the bird's name. He's going to try and stop the cartoon bird from completing the challenge, which, you know, that, that's something I can relate to. You, you sometimes get those those types of owners. <laughs> but his friends turn up to save the day and, you know, they uh, they stand watch. No, don't. Uh, let him finish. While he finishes, I think it only takes him like, I don't know, a few minutes on screen. I don't know, maybe it took him like an hour. In I don't want to say in real life, but, you know. Uh, Cartoon life, I guess. I don't know if we ever did figure out how um, how long he took to finish, which is probably for the best because I don't think I don't know if my my ego could take it if a cartoon bird <laughs> finishes quicker than me. I might have to actually retire. I know I've uh, I've threatened to do that a few times now. <laughs> anyway, I actually I really enjoyed making this video. It was a lot of fun to make and uh, to eat too. All right, we're done with the. Uh... The bricks, not really, they call it an omelette in the show, it's really just scrambled eggs, but we're done with all the savoury stuff. 
Time for the fruit bowl. Mm. I love fruit though. Oh yeah, big fruit fan here. Who doesn't love a big, wet, juicy wedge of watermelon? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. So you think the cartoon bird did it quicker than I did? Yeah. But you can't confirm the cartoon bird's time. Do we know the cartoon bird's name? Uh. It's something really weird and, and um, not weird, but it's, it's quite archaic. It's kind of like an old fashioned name. Mordecai, that was it. I feel like, I feel like really, we should have watched the show before filming this video to, to really do it justice. I'm not really that, I don't know, professional, a content creator, I suppose. <laughs> Well, oh. is that clean enough, madame? Uh. There are a few uh, shreds of cheese around, but other than that, I think you gotta gotta give me the win there. Yes. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was really. Really yummy. Definitely worth the, uh, I don't know, two hours of cooking. How, how did it take us two hours to cook basically scrambled eggs with some chili and a little bit of cheese? I don't know, but I have just discovered that he finished it in under an hour. Ah, right. Well, maybe I could uh, tweet the uh, whoever makes the show and, and find out if you had a, you know, <laughs> if you had an official finish time. Anyway. Thanks for watching the video. Just something a little bit uh, different today. And uh, just because, I don't know, I, th I thought it would be fun to do. And a few people have asked for it, so uh, I thought, why not? Also, I got the inspiration for, you know, kind of how to make it from, uh, like I said, binging with Babish. I'm sure he's got like, what, 10 million subscribers now? So I'm sure you've probably heard of him. But if you haven't, go and watch his channel because he's a, he's a funny guy. And, you know, he makes lots of delicious stuff from TV shows and movies and stuff. So um, probably won't be the last time I rip off one of his ideas. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Ooh, we got some, and I'll see what we do. Uh... Rice oh. pudding. <laughs>